Installing Twister is really easy, and to show you just how easy, I've actually put together this short video that kind of demonstrates the process for you. Now the first thing you want to do to install Twister is you actually want to upload the Twister download to the directories where you want it to be installed. Now you can either upload it zipped and uncompress it using something like cPanel's file manager, or you can unzip it first like I've done and upload the uncompressed files into that particular folder. Now you're going to be doing this via FTP, and that's what I've done right now. Now it's so small that you know it's really not going to matter either way you choose to do it. Now the next thing that you want to do is that's very important is you're going to want to make the directory you've uploaded it to, as well as the cache folder, writable, world writable. And the reason that you want to do this is because the wizard is going to need to write the configuration file. So what you'll do is, uh, in my particular FTP client, I can actually go in here and you'll see it's 755 right now, and I can change that to 777. Uh, it's important that once you run this wizard that you come back and set it to what it was before. Uh, mine most likely 755. Now the the final step here is to actually go and run the wizard. Now the way that you do that is you just bring up your browser and you type in the URL where you've installed it. And I've particularly put this one in plasticmine.com forward slash twister demo. Now when you run it for the first time, one of the things that you'll notice is that the wizard pops up and uh, all that you really need to do is fill out the necessary information. First of all, you'll notice it says tag to follow. This is where you're going to put in the hashtag and the hashtag is what Twitster will be filtering your friends Twitter posts by. This is how you create a quote unquote group for your website. Uh, setting up a tag to filter comes in handy if you're creating a community focused on any one particular topic, uh, say a conference or say a particular project that you're working on. But you can leave it blank, which is what I'm going to do now, and uh, Twister will then essentially show all the tweets that are made by the people that you're following. So uh, I'm going to put in my site name, a Twister community, and then you put in a tagline. This is a great community. Sorry for the cheese. The Twitter information that you're providing, uh, this is the authenticating account. In other words, everyone that you're following with this particular account will be part of this Twitster group that you're creating. So I, I'm using Twitster app right now. And then you want to fill in the uh, relevant database information. Then all you have to do is click set up Twitster. Then the wizard does its magic and voila, your site starts receiving updates from your newly created Twitter group powered by Twitster. If you want to keep updated on what's going on with Twitter, you can follow us. Uh, our username on Twitter is Twitster app. Thanks for watching.